Hey everybody, welcome back to Pictures Up. I'm Sam Morgan. I'm Zoe Davidson. We are the co-directors of New Year's Eve.mp4 and this is a video. <laughs> <laughs> I'm used to doing these alone, so this is, a, this is a nice change of pace. We're gonna try alternating sentences. This might feel incredibly awkward. I, I actually don't know how this is gonna come out, but we're gonna try to co-host this and see how it goes. So the All-American High School Film Festival is the largest student film festival in the world. And in addition to their huge festival in New York City every October, throughout the year they also uh, sponsor and run some different uh, remote competitions. One of these competitions is the Winter Film Invitational. And it's basically a competition where you have five days to make a short film given a few prompts. This year we actually won the Invitational, so. And here's how we did it. Here's how we did it. So on Friday we got our prompts and we started brainstorming. <sighs> okay. <sighs> you might guess from my general demeanor of like exhaustion that it's super early in the morning right now or something, but it's not, it's like 10 a.m. Today's Friday, January 13th. I'm skipping school, which is great. The 2023 All-American High School Film Festival Winter Film Invitational Competition has just opened. Given some uh, specific creative elements and prompts, we have to make a short film. First of all, we had a sound effect prompt. We had to incorporate a sound effect of either howling wind, a police or fire siren, or a ticking or chiming clock. Here we go. That is one of the sound effects. And we had to have imagery of either a calendar showing the month of January or a fireplace. And the final prompt was a line of dialogue that includes the phrase, the best laid plans. We should have said this first, but the, the theme of, of the entire uh, competition was New Year's resolutions. But what if it's too generic though? Yeah, I mean, I feel like a lot of people might go in a dark direction. All the sound effects sound kind of dark and ominous, too. I think we would be doing something less conventional with this one by taking it in a comedic route. One of my favorite, like, New Year's related stories is um, at the turn of the century. My parents were spending New Year's together in Savannah, and my dad got sick right around midnight. And so my mom always likes to say that she spent the turn of the century watching my dad puke into a toilet. I actually kind of like that idea for some reason. We could probably incorporate that in some way. We should incorporate that. Um, should I look at the camera? <laughs> I would should I use both not. hands too while I drive? My first thought was <laughs> We're at the Party City to see if they've got New Year's stuff out here still. It's probably cheap. Those are New Year-ish, you know? We're about to make a purchase that's pretty confusing to the people working here, I imagine. I cannot believe this isn't on sale. <laughs> so, Friday was not a very productive day. I spent a lot of Friday working alone because the entire rest of the crew was at a tech rehearsal for a production of 9 to 5 at our school. Zoe played Dora Lee, the Dolly Parton role, and she slayed it. Yes, I did. And you were helping film that day too. Yes, and I helped film that for a promo video. It's technically not that cold out today, but it is so, so windy at the Performing Arts Center. This is why the rest of my team can't work on the movie today. This is why I've been stranded all day long. This is why. By the way, that show is over and it was fantastic. Michael was in it, Mandy was in it, Ty was in it, Zoe was in it, and they were all amazing. But it was severely hindering our progress with making this movie that Friday because they all had the rehearsal and I had to film the rehearsal to make their promo video, which is on my Instagram. You can check it out, it's pretty cool. Guys, this is Kay, this is Michael's girlfriend. <laughs> we're watching our significant others. Um, on stage, they're acting. Yeah, they're they're, they're doing acting, acting things. Yeah, they are still doing notes in there, finishing up their curtain call. I'm gonna go to Zoe's house for the evening, actually, and we're gonna stay up late, talk about the story, hopefully make some progress so that we can start uh, preparing and everything tomorrow. Update on the whole temperature and wind situation. It remains cold as balls and super windy. Great show, by the way. Zoe is doing such a fantastic job. The fact that she's doing this short film on top of all the wonderful work she's doing back there is just 
insanely impressive in itself, even if our short film turns out terrible. But it wasn't until Saturday that we came up with the idea that we were gonna be using. So me and my friends Michael and Ty have this New Year's tradition where every year we record a video where we all sit down and we talk about uh, the outgoing year, we talk about our resolutions for the following year, and then we put that video onto a flash drive which we lock away for a year and uh, we watch it, you know, the following New Year's and we reflect on how well our resolutions went and all that stuff. You know, it's just your passion. It's my, my passion. Filming my is my pa passion. It's my passion. <laughs> Maybe work on filming, cause like that's like my passion. Basically, the short film is just a stage version of these videos. Yeah. Pretty much. We all play fictional versions of ourselves, and most of the plot is inspired by things that have actually happened to us. All right, I think we've had a breakthrough. Maybe we want the whole thing to be found footage. So like me, Michael, and Ty do our New Year's resolutions and like recap video every single year. So we were thinking about using some of that to like kick off the story, but then the rest of it is all told through like handheld footage. This is very different from anything that we've ever made before in the sense that it is not cinematic at all. It's purposefully very rough around the edges and feels extremely homemade so that we could kind of sell that illusion that this is a real video of New Year's Eve. We have an idea. We've got all of our decorations right here from Party City. We're gonna decorate my basement here. We're gonna make it look like a New Year's Eve party in this basement. All right, so since we have our idea ready, it's time to start getting our set ready. Motherfucker, how big are these things? What the hell? I'm genuinely so lightheaded. I think I figured out the strap for the rest of the balloons. Oh, wow, is this thing dying? It's dying. The pump is dying. I will never buy balloons for a movie ever again in my life. Never. Overnight, one of the balloons deflated for some reason and it made the whole thing look like it said 2028. Is that like 2028? It's... <laughs> Does it say 2028? So we decided to incorporate that in the movie as a recurring joke. Well, I did, actually. It was my idea. Right? I think so. Who knows? It's a great joke, okay? We're, we're, we're a hive and mind, you know? It's hard to tell who, I don't, what, what ideas come from my brain, what ideas come from your I brain, because our brains are one and the same. This is gonna be confusing. I'm gonna try and record behind the scenes clips and the movie on the exact same camera because we're using like a regular behind the scenes microphone on the movie camera today because of the nature of this movie. I think this is gonna be a pretty good film. We're gonna improvise heavily and we're gonna balloons. So this movie really didn't have a script at all, but kind of the extent of our planning was just a bunch of note cards on a whiteboard. So with this vague structure for the story, we improvised all of the smaller details on the actual night of filming. Like we just told people what to mention. The way we directed this movie was very much like, you know, these are the dots, you connect them. You know, like these are the points you need to hit, but like we don't really care how you get there. And our so-called friend Michael was <laughs> supposed to be one of the film's main characters, but you know, he decided to end up not being available. Oh, that's Is this phone dead? Oh no. Oh, oh no. Wait, no, the text went through. He's just ignoring you. you what is he doing? Hey, this is Michael. You are Wow! So we told him that we were gonna do this. Back to like the dots thing. We didn't really give him dots to connect. We were just like, this he, scene is gonna happen. He wouldn't even answer us. Yeah, yeah. He wouldn't even answer us. The first couple of calls like didn't even go through, so we decided to move on with filming for the night. And then eventually he just called us and uh, you know, instead of planning like losers, we just decided to roll with it. And I was like, Zoe, start recording. So Zoe started recording and uh, we kind of ran over to the couch and we just sort of started doing the scene. If you watch the movie kind of closely, there's like a little bit of hesitation from Michael where I, I think he was kind of on the other side of the phone. Like, oh, are we, are we doing the scene right now? And he, uh, you know, being as funny as he is, improvised 
incredibly well. Kay, his girlfriend who was there with him, ended up like making noise in the background, which I don't know if it was intentional at first. I'm not really feeling it this year. Okay. Is that a girl with you? Do I hear? Uh, no. Is that a? No, no, no. Are you? <laughs> the part where you just hang up. <laughs> yeah, where it's, I just hang up. You're just like. <sighs> Wait, who is that? Uh, it's. It's Sarah, guys. This was the fastest we've ever filmed a short film. We filmed nearly the entire thing in like a little over two hours, aside from like a couple extra shots we took the next day. All right, so Ty is about to come in here and then before he pukes, he's gonna swig this monster right here and uh, puke it up into the, into the toilet. Three, two, one. So editing for this film was a pretty quick process. Obviously I had to, you know, arrange the clips in order, do pretty basic color and sound edits, a little bit of sound design for the countdown scene where they're like watching the TV. I needed the audio from the TV. I also had to make the camera interface from scratch using a mix of Final Cut and Photoshop. If you watch this throughout the film really closely, and I'm really proud of this, you'll see that like the time, date, battery level, and file number all change throughout the movie. Uh, and, and they're consistent too. I made sure that like the chronological order made sense and everything and like when we jump back in time, there's no mistakes or anything. It's it, it's very consistent and meticulous and I'm very proud of it. I also really like at the end, like when the camera starts dying and the battery starts blinking, it kind of, <laughs> I feel like it kind of motivates the end of the movie by implying that their camera died right as we cut to credits, uh, which I feel like is kind of a, a satisfying ending for the movie considering we've been watching that battery level go down the entire time. And we spent day five scrambling to get everyone's release forms filled out and then eventually submitting the movie. And a couple weeks later, the winners were announced. The finalists are Brave Resolutions, East Valley Institute of Technology, Mesa, Arizona. New Year's Eve, North Hall High School, Gainesville, Georgia. We're finalists. Very excited about it. Since we got second runner up last time, third place last time, I c that was kind of like the neighborhood I was expecting. Just that's kind of where my expectations were at. And so when he was reading off the names and he said like, you know, third place, somebody else, second place, somebody else. In the video that I took of that moment, you can hear me say, I don't think we won. It's okay. <laughs> like and you're like, it's okay. It's okay. Same one, Capistrano, California. I was pretty positive that we just didn't make the top three at all. And we then, were at the except stage of grief. Yeah, we really were. Like, I, I was I was okay with it. I was like, you know what? They probably just didn't like the found footage thing. Like, it was a bold concept. You know, it's okay. Like, the, the, this was a risk we knew we were taking. But... And the winner of the highly competitive 2023 Winter Film Invitational is... New Year's Eve, North Hall High School. <laughs> It won, and I was very proud, and, and yeah, I was overjoyed. All right, so we will see you guys in the next video. Until then, I'm Sam Morgan. I'm Zoe Davidson. And, and you're, this, and this and you're watching thing. Disney Channel. Is it, is it, and you're watching Pictures Up? Or <laughs> and is this it, is Pictures Up. And this, okay, we'll do it. Yeah, again. I'm Sam Morgan. I'm Zoe Davidson. And this, this is, is Pictures, Pictures Up. Do, 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 do.